Got a real topic for y'all. I'm just waiting for more people to get on here. So y'all hit that share. Punch them likes. Punch them hearts real quick. Tap them hearts real fast. Tap them likes real fast. And hit that share real quick. Got to talk to y'all about something important. It hit me. Cross my mind. Cross my mind. Somebody said, if I don't care why I say it, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you exactly why I said what I said. It's a method. It's a message behind anything that I say, anything that I do. To all of y'all saying y'all love me, I appreciate that. That's the, I appreciate that. That's the perfect word. Love. Love is the perfect word. Like. Like ain't important. Love is, though. So, I'm going to break that down to y'all. I don't think a lot of y'all, see a lot of y'all that might have went over your head. You say, I look stressed. I'm definitely not stressed. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm human. You know, I'm definitely going through a lot of things. Some of you guys are well aware of what I'm going through. Y'all follow me. Y'all follow the media. You understand what I'm saying? My life is all over the world. <laughs> My life is all over social media. You dig what I'm saying? So, y'all know what's up. So, could you imagine your life being all over social media? Could you imagine your name being drugged through the luck, through the mud by people who once said they loved you and all because they don't like you? They'll do and say anything to hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? So I want to get into this thing of why I don't care if somebody like me. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand it in life, man. People are not supposed to like you. You know, why do people worry so much about who like them and who don't? It's just like social media. You got a like button. You notice there's no dislike button. They don't even give you a dislike button. They just give you a like button. A comment button. And a share button. You know, obviously on Facebook, they got so many different emojis. You got the hearts. The hearts say love. You dig what I'm saying? I love the hearts. Love is the main thing. Love is what I'm concerned with because the energy that I give, the love that I give to people is pure. You feel me? So love in return is all I ever ask for. Somebody liking me? Nah. If you a real parent, if you a parent who provides structure, we all know. If you a parent who provides structure, oftentimes your kids ain't going to like you, but they going to love you. Especially as they get older. Especially as your children get older. They love you. They appreciate that. They appreciate that structure that you provided. They appreciate them no's. Nah, you can't do that. No, you can't do this. They appreciate that as they get older and they get to look at life and see what it is and see that life is not all about games. Life is not all about fun. Life is not all about laughter. You understand what I'm saying? Um, life is about structure and true love is the main thing that people should be concerned with. Not whether somebody like you or not. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't never came on here to campaign for you guys to like me. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all don't know me in real life. You never shook my hand. I ain't never did something for you where financially, where you might've needed a bill paid or something. If I paid your bill, you love me. Oh my God. He paid my light bill one month. That's all I would have had to do. And you would have always had something positive to say about me because I've done something for you. You dig what I'm saying? But if all I do is come down your timeline and I give you content, I make you laugh, I make you smile. Some of you guys may even shed a tear or two behind some content that's been posted. What people got to understand is one of the main reasons why I say I don't care if people like me. I still got to live my real life. A lot of this stuff that y'all been seeing on social media, y'all think it's all skits. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of y'all don't know this, but since my separation, everything that you've been seeing put on social media is not a skit. This is my real life. My real life has turned into a movie. And a lot of the stuff that y'all seeing is definitely fiction. 
but it's still attached to my real life. Y'all seen a lot of stuff on the internet. Y'all be like, wow, ain't that's a skit. Oh my God, that's gotta be, that's entertaining. No, it's not a skit. Looks like it though, right? It looks like a skit, don't it? You, I know y'all thinking in y'all mind when y'all see some of this stuff, who in their right mind would say these type of things publicly or do these type of things publicly? I know. I know that's what a lot of y'all are saying. I asked the same question. You know, what y'all see me do on my page with my content, with my tap dancing, with my comedy, with my singing, with my rapping, with my skits, what's actually skits that's on my page. You dig what I'm saying? That's not attached to actual real life things like the, th the videos you see, obviously, with my little girls and stuff like that. That's real. That's genuine things. Me singing to my daughter, things like that. But the ignorance that you guys have been able to see on the Internet Ignorance, man. When I say ignorance, I'm talking negativity, things like that. That's not skits. That's out of my control. I can't control that. If my hands is on it, it's going to be positive content. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be funny content. It's going to be content that's actually structured to give you guys a laugh or whatever the case may be. I do not create drama filled content at all. So when y'all look at certain things like where courts is involved and and stuff like that. That's real life stuff. That's real life stuff. So a lot of y'all be like, yo, what, what's going on, man? Damn, that's crazy. There's no way. There's no way nobody would air this type of stuff. That's a fact. Big Dollar Truth will never air nothing out like that. I won't do it. You dig what I'm saying? So I seen like what made me even think of this right here. I had a couple of comments come down my page. Um, you know, I'm a smaller guy now. Physically, I look a lot smaller. I look a lot different to a lot of people. People who follow me back when I was big. You dig what I'm saying? They seen me when I was 250 pounds. Now I'm 180 pounds. I look like a totally different person. So it's some people who feel like because I look different, they feel like I act different. But when you go back and look at my content back when I was bigger, I acted the exact same way. But because I was bigger, no one saw it as confident. No one saw it as arrogant. People see me as arrogant now because I'm smaller, because I look different, but I carried myself the exact same way in a bigger body frame. You see what I'm saying? So somebody said, I, like, I liked you so much better back then. You were more humble. The first thought process came to my mind is I don't know who you are. I never met you before. I didn't ask you to like me back then. I was a big guy and I was being exactly who I am myself. When I get on here and I speak, I speak positivity. I speak from the heart. I create my content from the heart. I create my content to entertain the people. So if you like me in the bigger body, I'm, 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 I'm grateful that you did like me like that. But if you don't like me now because I'm smaller when I create my content and maybe you don't like the way I look now or something like that, I don't know. I, I don't care if you don't like me. Like I told you before, I get on here and I teach my... I get on here and preach my lessons. I speak my positivity. I create my content. I could care less if you like me or not. You understand what I'm saying? You might have wanted me to wear a red shirt, but I wore a blue shirt. You might have wanted me to wear shorts, but I wore pants. You might have wanted me to wear a jacket, but I chose to come on here with my shirt off. It's so many different reasons of what you might not like about me. I could care less. I don't come on here to make you like me. And that's why I'm telling you guys, you shouldn't be on earth positioning yourself to make people like you. All you can do is be who you are. Be you. And the people who are like-minded like you will like you. You dig what I'm saying? Don't try to be something else to make certain people like you that might not like you. And they probably really don't like you no way. They only like you because of what you got on. Because of how you look. You dig what I'm saying? Because the way you pronounce your words. You see, people like you for whatever reasons they like you. Now, nah, I don't want nobody to like me for nothing but because I have a huge heart. That's it. And like ain't even the word. Love is it. So people that I know in real life, they love me in real life. You dig what I'm talking about? Some of you guys really do need to go to therapy. That's a fact. I agree with this lady right here. She said something about go to therapy. That's a fact. You do. Anybody who comes to a content creator who creates nothing but content to entertain fans and tell that person to go get therapy, you definitely have to go get therapy for yourself. 
I've never been so sick in the head that I go to a content creator and tell them to get therapy. Now, if I've seen them do something that requires that, because I have to see it, you know what I'm saying? I have to see a person do something, not listen to a skit or listen to an audio or a song, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how many people said Eminem should go get therapy based off the music that he made? You know how many people said Pop should get therapy because he made music and he spoke certain things in music? You know how many people say Kanye West need to go get therapy, check himself into a mental hospital over the way he think just because you don't think like how he think because you're not woke how he woke. You don't have the experiences or went through the same things that he went through so you can't relate. That term calling the, calling the, the pot calling the kettle is so true, man, because I see it every day. People who are mentally ill getting on social media trying to tell another person that they're mentally ill. It makes no sense. And then people who will tell you that they don't like you will tell you that with a straight face from a fake profile page. To me, a person who has a fake profile page going to tell somebody else that they need help definitely needs to check themselves into a mental hospital. You don't even have the balls. You're not even man enough or woman enough to come and tell a person that they need help from a profile that actually has your face on it. I get on here just to preach and speak and help people. And I get it. I'm going to get a lot of flack. It's going to be a lot of people mad at me. The truth hurts. That's all I do is speak the truth. That's it. If you can't take it, you can't take it. I have real life concerns in my life. You liking me is not one of them. Me seeing my kids. Me being a father to my children. That's my priority. You liking me? Give no cares about that. And again, some of you guys raise your children to like you. That's why it's no structure. When you bring structure, when you provide real structure for your children and teach them how to be the best version of themselves possible, nine times out of ten, they're not going to like you because that stuff is not fun. The world is more about playing games. It ain't just about playing games and having fun, man. You got to have structure in your life. It's a balance. Having fun is one of the things, of course. I love to have fun with my kids, play with my kids, sing to them, teach them different, different things that they may fall in love with to have fun and enjoy them lives. But structure is always the main thing for me. I want to teach them the best ways. It's prison cells out here that people get locked in every day. I want to keep my kids from ever going to prison. I want to teach my kids about stability. I want to teach my kids how to be mature and know that before they decide to take a leap in life and, be, and do what grown folks do. I want them to be stable and in position to be able to do those things. You understand what I'm saying? Have their education. Education first. Make sure you make good grades in school. Your grades come first. You dig what I'm saying? Structure comes first. Figuring out what you want to be when you grow up comes first. Because why? Big Daddy ain't going to be here forever. I want to make sure my kids are good and have structure so when I'm not here... They still able to survive and get through life. And then they able to raise their kids the same way. It's a lot of generational curses out here, man. And people don't understand it. And a lot of people are repeating the same cycles daily. All because they worried about if somebody like them or not. Some of you guys don't want to teach structure to your children. Because you're worried about if your kid is going to like you or not. Because your kid has got a balled up face and they're mad. Ooh, I hate you. They hate you for giving them structure. You can't. Y'all trying to be y'all kids' best friends. A lot of y'all are trying to be your children's best friends just so they will like you. But when you leave this world, who's going to be here for your kids? Who's going to be able to teach them structure? How are your kids going to be able to teach their kids structure if you're not teaching your kids structure? Generational curses is a, is a, is a real setback for us in the black community. We know that's a fact, but too many people are concerned that somebody like them. I got to have a flyest outfit so these people, these strangers that walk outside can like me. That's how a lot of people are thinking. You got to be the most freshest person in the world. So when you can go outside for these people, you're trying to impress people who do not know you, who do not care about you. When your kids is the only one you need to be impressing and you need to be putting structure into them and teaching them the way. So you liking me, listen, to anybody that's watching this right now, if you don't like me, that's cool. I don't care about that. I'm focused on my kids. And they ain't got to like me. They just got to love me because that's what they will do. 
when kids become older and you give them the best structure, they might be mad at you while they're kids, but when they become 30 years old and they look back at some of the mistakes or some of the things that they would have did if they didn't have your guidance and your structure, I love you, daddy. I love you, mama. That's what your kids is going to be saying. I, I thank you so much for keeping me out of trouble, mama. I thank you so much for keeping me out of trouble, daddy. If it wasn't for you teaching me, yeah, I was mad at you, daddy. I was mad at you, mama. I didn't like you. I felt like you made me like a prisoner. You didn't let me do this. You didn't let me do that. But when you get older, you start to realize, like, man, my daddy loved me. My mama loved me. That's why they didn't want me out here in these streets doing this X, Y, Z. That's why. They might not like you that much as a kid, though, because they want to have fun. We know that kids just want to have fun. People just want to have fun. But we got to get into the realistic part of this conversation, the adults. Some of you adults were raised the wrong way, too. So you think it's okay to not put structure into your household. Because you didn't have no structure. I feel like people who didn't have structure and they know they got ran through out here in these streets doing a bunch of crazy stuff, had to go to jail several times, committed so many different crimes, running around doing all types of dumb stuff. I feel like when you went through that, you're supposed to be busting your butt to make sure your kids don't go through the same thing you went through. And that's just the bottom line. As a human being, if you bring another human being into the world, how you don't want a greater life for a human being that you put into this world. That makes no sense to me, man. We already got enough challenges and stuff in the world today as is. We got enough challenges in the world right now. It's so many different things. The odds are stacked against us already. Thanks for the stars, um, Teresa Douglas. Thank you so much. It's so many obstacles already in the way of us. But why is it so much us as black people, we be in the way of us. We're in our own way. We have so much power if we come together and we structure this thing the right way and have these uncomfortable conversations. Nobody wants to have them. Y'all want to be people pleasers. Y'all want to be liked. That's why the structure and the dynamics of the world is falling apart. You can see it from every angle of the world. You can see it from every angle. Everybody want to say what's politically correct. You go back 30 years ago, it was better. Structure was better here. Social media is raising your kids now. Social media is raising our kids. Why? We're putting a phone in their hand when they're babies. That putting that phone in your, in your baby's hand is making it easy for you to be a parent now. Now you can just sit over here and watch your little news. You can watch these little ratchet TV shows that come on. You can sit there and watch these little ratchet TV shows in peace because now your kids sitting over there on their phone. They own their little tablets. They own their little phones. You just want them quiet. You just want them not running around. And what they doing? They putting a bunch of poison in their minds. And you think you're doing the greatest job in the world. You think you're doing the greatest job in the world while they sitting there poisoning their minds with the stuff that's on social media. They seeing things. They learning things a lot faster than you would have ever thought they would learn it. They know these things. You're trying to talk quiet, whisper around the house, thinking they don't already know what's going on. They already know. They don't learned it from the social media apps. They on TikTok. Take these devices out your kids' hands and raise them properly. Teach them structure. If my babies was in my house with me, they're not being on no cell phones. They're not doing none of that stuff. They're not learning all that poisonous stuff from the internet, from their phones. They're not doing that. And, and that's not going to be fun for your kids. So a lot of times you're going to get lip. You're going to get their lips poked out. They got crossword puzzles. They got all types of things they could do. You can sit them down. You can still, you can count with them. You can do so many different things with your kids. You can take them to trampoline parks and have fun with them. You can take them to them game rooms and stuff like that. But when they come home, it's business. It's structured. Them cell phones is not the way, guys. How many kids y'all walk up in the malls, and not malls, but y'all walk up in the post office? I spoke on this before, and you see these pictures of these kids, 15 years old, kidnapped, or they missing. You know how many mothers and fathers are shedding tears that never got to see their kid again? Access to the internet, access to these computers. I'm not saying you can't take pictures with your kids and post it on the internet, but you as a parent, you got to be in control of that. You.
The parent have to be in control of that. I made my, my two little girls Facebook pages so I can be in control of the page and the content that gets posted. They're not on there looking at no messages. No. If you see any kids of mine on there with a page that I don't have access to and they looking through it, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's what the parents, that's what the parents on that side is allowing them to do. I don't allow my kids to get on their pages and check messages and all that. You know how many sickos out here around the world that prey on little girls and kids and little boys and they DM saying all type of crazy stuff, man, real father gang, y'all better stand up in here. Y'all better start being more vocal because y'all see what this world is coming to. Y'all see what things is going on out here. And if y'all watching my life, if y'all watching all this stuff coming down your timeline that I ain't got no control over, you better make sure you got control over your situation to all the mothers in the house right now with your daughters and all that and your sons and all that. You better take them cell phones out their hand. Yeah, they're going to be mad at me. The truth over here messing it up. He trying to stop us from having fun. No, the truth trying to save lives. The truth trying to say, trying to, trying to break these generational curses. These kids out here think they grown now, man. These kids being disrespectful to their parents these days, especially when they become teenagers, especially when they be get to a point of a level where they can have a baby. They can have a baby. Oh, they grown now. You can't tell them nothing. You can't tell your kids nothing no more. Back in the day, y'all know we was not doing none of that. We couldn't even come in the house talking loud. Man, you can't even smack your teeth coming up how we came up. You can't even go. You might have to get up off the floor with them back when we was coming up. Nah, not now. These kids opinionated. They can say whatever. I hate you, dad. I hate you, mom. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. What you mean? I could have swore I pushed you up out of me. What you mean I ain't your dad? What? What? Discipline. Can you imagine back in our day coming up? Can you imagine back in our day we get a little spanking? And then we get on the live and, and we get on Facebook live or Instagram live talking about somebody gave us a whooping or somebody beat us. Is we going to ever be able to talk about that ever again? No, we ain't never talking about that no more. We ain't never getting on social media ever again, man. And guess what else? Life going to start being better after that. It's no, it's no structure these days, man. It's no structure these days. But when a real man get on here and speak like this, everybody want to look at the real man and say that the real man need counseling. The real man is crazy. That's how people think. It's no more structure. Your kids can do whatever they want to these days. I got to say it. Kids can be born now. A kid can be born a boy. And you have to let them become a girl now. You have to. You can't even tell them, nah, that's not cool, bro. You a boy. You got to go out here and make me some, uh, some sons. You got to help my family. More generations to come. You can't even say that no more. You can't even speak the truth no more. You got to lie now. You got to get on social media or you got to just roll with the roll with the punches, whatever it is, man. It's just real life, man. I, I don't see y'all ain't getting tired of that. Y'all not getting tired of that. As long as you keep them on social media, these type of things are going to keep on happening. The conditioning is coming from social media. The conditioning is coming from the TV screens. Everybody want to speak on religion, this religion, that. Oh, I believe in God. But then you condoning it. You still condoning it. You condoning all the foolishness. It's not helping our structure at all. None of this stuff is helping our structure at all. Well, people should be able to decide. All right, let, let's be real. Y'all say people should be able to decide, right? Are they deciding? Or is the TV deciding for them? Is the media deciding for them? Is the cell phone deciding for them? Y'all already know the way we came up. We didn't get on, on a cell phone and see, see ignorance and say, oh, this is what I want to do. We didn't see it. If you see it, you're going to start being programmed and you're going to think that that's what you want to do. Oh, yeah, this looks like this is what I want to do. I want to become an elephant tomorrow. This is an elephant right here. I want to become an elephant. No, that's that's if you're watching this type of stuff, you're going to start thinking that this y'all ain't getting it yet. Y'all don't understand what's going on with our world. man. Y'all ain't, ain't figuring it out yet. Y'all ain't figured it out yet. Y'all ain't figured it out. Keep putting them cell phones in your baby's hands. See what happens. Mind control. That's exactly what it is. Programming. We've been talked about this several times. We know what programming is. I don't care if you don't. I don't care if you don't like me. This speech is not made for you to like me. This speech is all about structure. 
This speech is all about allowing your kids to be able to decide what it is that they want to be and what they want to do. Putting them cell phones in the end takes that ability away from them. That's why a lot of kids is not trying to be like you, the parents anymore. They being whatever you give them. When you give them that cell phone, they gonna be that. Why you think it's so many twerkers now? Why you think so many? Why you think so many women twerk now? Where, where you think they learning it from? Is they learning that from the mothers at the house, or are they learning how to twerk from the phone? How, how they learning how to twerk? Don't get on here blaming the content creators because the content creators ain't put those. The content creators didn't put the phones in your kids' hands. So stop trying to t t trying to take the responsibility off yourself and put it on a content creator. I wish I wish y'all would come in here and talk. Oh well, you post women dance to your music, so I do. I didn't tell you to put your kids on here to watch the women dance to my music. I never did that. I never told none of y'all to do that. This is my my content is for the adults. I don't feel like kids should even be sitting on social media until they get to a certain age. I, I just don't. It's too much nonsense coming down timeline. You ain't got to teach them about the birds and the bees. They know about the birds and the bees before you even know. They, some of these kids know more about the birds and the bees than you. Y'all trying to figure out what's the next move, the next kinky move. They already know. Y'all think y'all keeping it a secret. They already know what's going on. Some of, these, some of them got more experience than you. You still sitting here thinking that they ain't got nothing going on. You still here thinking that they kids in the mind. And they, you put a cell phone in their hand at four years old and younger. They already know what's going on. It's a star. It's a star party on here, y'all. It says activate star party in three minutes and forty eight seconds, man. Y'all send as many stars as y'all can as y'all will. I appreciate it. Let's turn it up. I'm gonna shout y'all names out for the people who do send stars. TVs, all of the, all of that stuff. Those news stations, all of that. It's all a form of control. It's programming. Me, I watch boys the men on TV singing as a little kid. I watch Boys the Men. I watch Drew Hill. I watch them people. Tara Gordon, thank you so much. I'm an artist. I was programmed too. Wasn't a bad programming, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I watched R&B singers. I watched rappers on the TV screen as a little boy. I sing. I rap. What are they watching on the TV? You don't even see music videos like we used. We used to watch music videos on our TV screen. Now what you see? Every movie is about um, stripping. Um, um, it's definitely not heterosexual relationships for the most part. The relationships we see now on TV is definitely not heterosexual relationships. So what they see is what they're going to do. Let me see. Levada Paris Kelton, thank you so much for the stars, queen. I appreciate you. Y'all ain't figured this stuff out yet. And then when I get on here speaking, they're going to call me crazy. I don't like him. Okay, cool. I love my kids. I love my family. I love the people who actually listen to this type of direction and take something from it and say, you know what, with an open mind, like, damn, that brother really is speaking some truth. Our world is falling apart. That's the type of people. I, I, I respect those type of people. I respect like-minded people. I do. But a lot of y'all think your kids and different people are doing things just because they want to do them. I love this comment. Somebody said, but I but I sing about um, stripper songs. I love that. I appreciate you saying that. Alma Lindsay, now I'm about to wake you up. My song Drop It Low is not even a stripper song. For y'all that don't know that, y'all probably didn't even listen to the lyrics. I like that one right there because now I get to break this down. First and foremost, Drop It Low was created during COVID. Y'all remember when I made, when I put out Drop It Low, I was a, fa a family man, a married family man when I came up with that song, right? Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low, drop it, drop it low. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low, drop it to the flow, yeah. That song is made for a man and his woman, whether it's a husband and a wife or just a boyfriend and girlfriend. The verse, the first verse, I said, drop it low, drop it, drop it low. We ain't got to go to the strip club no more. Anything you say, baby girl, it's going to go. You ain't got to worry about your going broke, baby. Keep the money in the house. This is in the house with your lady, fellas. 
Women, this is your man singing to you, giving you his money instead of going to the strip club and giving it to a random woman. Keep the money in the house. I just stuffed a hundred thousand cash in your blouse, baby. Girl, you moving like a star. You just earn enough to go and buy a new car, baby. He's talking to his woman. This song is about a man singing to his woman, giving his woman money to keep the money in the house, let her go buy a whole new car instead of him going outside, going to a strip club and giving his money to a strange woman. This was telling the woman to spice it up for your man right there in the house. Dance for your man. Mommy, yo, look delicious. You moving so ridiculous, booty bouncing like a stripper, yeah. If you can dance, baby, I got cash. This is a man singing to his woman. If you can dance, I got cash. He keeping the money in the house. Instead of going out and giving it to the strippers, he gave it to his woman. Women, be sexy for your man. It don't stop. When you get in a relationship with your man, be sexy for your man. Drop it low. That's what the song is about. Drop it low. Drop it, drop it low. I just check my balance. 20 million and some more. Bounce that booty, baby. Pick them euros off the... Listen, you can dance for your man, ladies. Now, the remix may sound a little different when I do the remix. But the regular version was made for couples. Obviously, it's made for everybody. But if you listen to the lyrics, you can tell it was dedicated to the couples. Thanks for breaking it down, L.A. I, I appreciate it. But, you know, the way the world is designed, they want to take a message from a black man and turn it into a negative thing every time. Even when all you've ever seen from me was positivity. That's just what it is, man. I can't sit and go back and forth and argue with it. You dig what I'm saying? All I can do is what I know my calling is to do, and that's to change the world in a positive way. That's it. I can make the best attempt I can at it, and I get it. It's always going to be people pulling me down. That's just life. When it's somebody bringing structure to the game, something a little bit different, and it look a little different because I'm a black man, it's always going to be people that try to bring me down. But I never gave up. I've been pushing hard for many years with this stuff. I ain't never gave up. And I'm going to continue to provide structure. Everybody not going to like you. I don't campaign for everybody to like me. So that's why I tell you, do not campaign for everybody to like you. If you're going to campaign for something, campaign for them to love you. I want people to love me, not like. Likes don't even last long. You might like me today and hate me tomorrow. True love lasts forever, though, when it's love. So you might not like me, but I can promise you, just like a lot of other people who came and did this before me, once they was dead, they was loved. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people will never like you while you're alive and they see you getting love from other people. They'll never like you. The jealousy is there. But when you're dead, everybody seems to love that type of person. Why? You can't be jealous of a dead man, can you? You can't be jealous of a dead woman, can you? Have you noticed that people get so much more respect when they dead? Tupac got a lot of hate while he was alive. You don't hear much hate from Tupac now. Biggie Small, all of these people had a lot of hate while they was alive. You can't hate on a dead man. So that aura is always going to bring people hating you, people trying to talk down on you and tear you down. That comes with the game, man. You can't have a light without darkness coming in to try to take the lightness away. It's always going to happen. So I'm built for this. That's why I tell a lot of people all the time, it's no way you're going to stop me. You can't. I'm a light. A lot of you are lights, but you got to shine bright. You got to stop letting people dim it. Continue on your mission regardless. It's never a campaign to make everybody like you, though. Again, that was a trigger for me for somebody to tell me that they don't like me today and I don't know them. I'm focused on trying to be in my daughter's life. I got daughters that I'm trying to protect. And you think I would ever be focused on if you, a person that I do not know, like me or not. It's priorities, people. At some point, we got to understand it. It's priorities. I try my best to change the world, but I can't do it by myself. I want to see people who want to change the world just like I do. Come together, man. Let's do this thing. Y'all got social media just like I got social media. I'm one man. I'm one man. I get on here and do my thing. You right. I, you right, lady. I am not Tupac or Biggie. I'm the truth. 
my story is way different. If you've been following me, you should know that. I'm a cancer survivor. I'm nothing like Tupac and Biggie. I done been through some real things, you understand me? I ain't trying to be Tupac, and I ain't trying to be Biggie. I'm the truth. When I leave this place, we know what's going to be what's going on. We know what's up already. I ain't even got to debate that. Alan Powell, thank you so much for the stars. I told y'all, when y'all do that, that, that y'all ain't doing nothing but helping. Hate is fuel. You think your comment coming in here sounds like hate and you think it's going to stop something. No, it's fuel for me. I love it. When you bring that in here to me, you you right. I'm not Tupac. I'm not Biggie. I'm La Truth. It's only one La Truth. It was only two pot, one Tupac, one Biggie. It's one La Truth. I'm him. And I'm going to continue to stay on this mission to help as many people possible. I know it's going to be drawback. I never would think this would be easy. Anybody who's tried to help the world ain't never thought it was going to be easy. It's not. Martin Luther King, he knew it wasn't easy. Malcolm X, he knew it wasn't easy. Scrutiny going to come regardless. It's, this is not an easy thing to do. Darkness comes together. It's a lot of darkness out here, and they work hard. So what we need is other people with lights who are leaders to, to come in, and that's the only way we're going to make this thing work. That evil work hard as hell, y'all. It's not easy to, to defeat no evil. It's not. They don't sleep. The evil work around the clock. They don't stop. Uh, some of y'all still trying to break down the song. <sighs> mm. For the ones that still don't get it, man, they probably will never get it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, some people, you can explain something to them for 30 hours straight and they still won't get it, man. It's not your place to even. That's why I said that's the one thing I understand now. I'm going to do my message and I'm going to keep it pushing on to something else and working on something else. Because when you spend too much time trying to talk to some people, some people will never get it. It doesn't matter how long you explain it. I promise you. I would probably be at the finish line a lot faster in my life if I didn't waste my time trying to explain something to somebody who will never get it. Get it. Some people just will never get what you're talking about. Michelle, on top by grace, thank you so much for the stars. Some people will never get it. They'll never understand. You can beat them in the head with some truth and they still won't get it. That's just what it is, man. Love you, the truth. He keeps it real. Always, man. It ain't nothing else to do but to keep it real, man. But the truth hurts. We know that. Everyone goes through stuff, hard stuff. Nobody should discredit you or your trials and tribulations, man. Christine, Kristen, man, I ain't worried about nobody trying to discredit me on nothing that I've been through. I went through it and I'm still standing. You dig what I'm saying? If they want to discredit somebody, they got to discredit, discredit the person who went through something and gave up. The truth ain't never gave up on no task in life. That's a king. That's a, that's, that's, a, that's a king move every time. I ain't never gave up on nothing. So no one can ever discredit me from anything. I make things look a lot easy for a lot of people. That's why. That's one reason why people want to discredit. They think it ain't even real. They did that to 50 Cent. 50 Cent got shot, what, like nine times and he survived it? They discredited it when you survive it. If, 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 if 50 would have died behind that, they would have gave it more respect. That's the sad part about our world. When you survive something, they discredit it. People, people, it's just what it is. It's the nature for some people to just hate on you. That's just what it is. What up, Miss Lester? Appreciate it, no doubt. For sure, Miss Palmer, go handle your business. Thanks for stopping through. Thanks for stopping through the live. You got a brand to protect. Keep handling your business. I see the movement, man. God got me. You know what's up. The brand going to protect itself. God got me. The truth is definitely not popular, but the truth is the only thing that will stand forever. That's a fact. The truth shall set you free, too, for sure. 
Robert Hampton, I'm not even in the public eye, and I'm being hated so badly. Keep going, brother. Hey, keep doing your thing, Rochelle. Santi, that just means you got that light. You ain't got to be in the public eye to be hated on, man. I was hated before I ever got in the public eye. You got that light, baby. I don't know you, but just for what you did, you got that light. You chosen. Chosen people do get hated on a lot. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. It ain't no way to, to, to get away from that. Like, it starts when you're young all the way up. I've always had people who love me, and I've always had people who hate me. That light, I was born with that light. You're born with it. To the people who are already experiencing that, it ain't got nothing to do with your following. Trust me. Yvette Scott, thank you so much, Queen. That's why I'm, that's why y'all see me move how I move. I'm built for this. This was going on way before I ever got on social media. I've been out here getting to it since a youngin. You dig what I'm talking about? When you get to it, you're going to get that. That's just what it is. There's no way to duck and dodge it. It comes with the territory. Where I'm from, I'm from North Carolina. Born and raised. Baltimore in the building. What up? What up? Be more. See? Just be humble and thankful. Man, hey, humble is one of those things that... Humble over flex is one of my brands. But a lot of people got that word humble misconstrued. It's not what y'all think it is. I need people to start doing more research on what God thinks of being humble. That's something that everybody always talk about, being humble, being humble. I'm humble by nature. I feel like I'm too humble. Based off what the Bible says, I'm being way too humble. I think a lot of people think humble means you sit there and be a shell of yourself and you don't push your weight. You don't, you don't, you don't talk about your accomplishments. You don't, you, don't, you don't brag or whatever the case may be. No, that's not what that is. Y'all need to go look that humble word up. That's not even cool to be that. God ain't asking nobody to be like that. Y'all got to go look that up. So a lot of people speak on certain things from the Bible, but y'all don't really pay attention to what it actually means. I'm too humble, to be honest. Way too humble. I've done a lot. I come on here and I act like a regular person every day. LA, you are blessed. People should know. Yeah, yeah. When I came out with that song, I was definitely married. Like most of my content, it came out as a married type of person. But, you know, when you're in the entertainment business, people expect your marriage to be the traditional marriage. They don't understand things that's being done that's only done for entertainment purposes, and that's how you make your money. So it's one of those things. People look at it different. That's why I tell people don't judge your relationship based on nobody else's relationship. What works in your relationship might not work in the next person's relationship. Trust me, I've seen it. I've seen a lot of relationships fall apart over social media. People have to understand that. Like, some people are not built for social media. Certain type of comments can destroy a lot. A lot of y'all, uh, listen, a lot of women are being emotionally abused by opinions of the comments. And that's just the facts. Men, too. It's some men and women out here who really don't have it together when it comes to social media. It's not an easy thing, man. If you're not, if you not built for this, if you're not chosen, if this is not your calling, this ain't going to be good. It's not going to play out how you want it to play out. I've seen some of the best people get on here and start reading comments and it messed their whole mentality up. They're not even, they don't trust the person they're with. They don't, it's all of that. The insecurities get bigger and bigger based off the opinions of people on the internet that they do not know. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen it break some of the strongest people down. And if they would have never got on social media, they would be way better people. I've seen it. So it ain't something. That's why I tell y'all, be careful out here. Don't put your relationship on social media because you're opening that window and that door for everybody to have judgment on your life. I was married six years and it was in the public eye. So believe me, I've seen what it can do and will do to a person who does not have it together and they're not all the way 100% secure within themselves. You guys' comments, whew, I will. An insecure person cannot, cannot look at the comments that you guys leave. I've seen it. I've seen it. It is damaging. And it is definitely emotional abuse. Yes. For a person who does not know how to take that, it will become emotional abuse. Y'all's comments ain't no joke. And I've seen it with other content creators as couples too. People accusing a person for cheating on them through a comment. Because they would have one other woman who they think is beautiful. I've definitely seen it in mine too. I did a couple of video shoots in my lifetime in the first um, few years of my marriage. And because the woman that I was doing a video shoot with was attractive to the women, the women were actually in the comments saying things like, oh my God, I know he's cheating with her. Oh my God, her butt is bigger than his wife's. 
Oh my God, her titties is bigger than his wife's. I know he slept with her. Can you imagine being a wife and you got to read comments coming from women like that 24-7? I've seen a lot. So that's why I tell y'all, I will encourage you guys, do not put your relationship on social media. Because these people in these comments, they don't get no fucks. They speak as if they're with your man. They speak as if the man that they're talking about is actually their husband. So they're actually married to your husband too when you make it public. I, I'm just, I bullshit you not. When you make your relationship public, these women who follow are married to him too. So when he does something that they would not approve of, they're going to tell it in the comments. And then can you imagine a woman having to read comments from hundreds of thousands of women every week? Cutting her man down? Accusing the man for doing all type of stuff, man. Y'all got to understand. Do not put that stuff on social media, man. Shout out to my brother Life Jennings on the live, man. I appreciate you, bro. Drop a comment, man. And we got to get in the studio, bro. I'm going to hit your phone in a little bit. We got to work. We got to work, bro. It's that time. All women are beautiful. So shouldn't no woman come in here and compare another woman to another woman. It makes no sense. I see it 24-7 down my timeline. When I do skits with women, I see people in the comments comparing this woman to the next woman I do a skit with to the next woman I do a skit with. And y'all, man, y'all comments be brutal. Like, oh, she has big teeth. The other girl looks way better. Oh, this girl looks younger. Oh, this woman looks older. This woman looks this. Like, this is crazy. Everybody can't handle y'all comments, man. Like, why y'all got to be so, like, forward with your, pro your process of thinking? Start keeping them opinions right there. You ain't got to type out negative stuff, man. And it's the women that do it the most. It's the women that do it the most. Man, protect your relationship. That's all I'm going to say, man. Don't put that shit on social media. Make sure you strong first. If, you, if you're going to put your relationship on social media, you got to make sure you have it together. And my advice to y'all is don't even read the comments. Turn them comments off. Put your, post your content and cut them comments off. I don't cut my comments off because I'm not insecure. I don't care what y'all talking about. But I'm telling you to the woman or to the man who can't take that comment and just roll with it and it not bother them, post your content and turn them comments off. That way you can save your situation. Because everybody is not confident. Everybody is not secure. <clears throat> You said, why do people care what others say? Man, that's that's an easy question to ask, but come on, Latrita. La, what's her name, Latrita? Come on, Latrita Mooks. You know people care about it. Like, if somebody was to come on your page right now and you post a picture of yourself, and then you get overwhelmed with a thousand comments, and these women on here attacking you, talking about your edges, talking about your feet, talking about your weight, calling you ugly, trust me, you would be bothered. Like, come on, don't sit and try to act like that. Like, some of y'all come in and ask them type of questions, but when you post, you don't have but two people on your page, so you don't really know how to relate to it. Y'all can go through my comments daily. I get thousands and thousands and thousands of negative comments. I get on here and go live every day. I'm built for it. I'm confident because if you can see in that screen when you turn your camera on what you look like, you already know you look good. If you're a woman, you know you're beautiful. As a man, I know I'm handsome. So when I get on here, I don't care what y'all say about me because I see. I see the same thing y'all see. Whatever y'all want to say about me, that's fine. I know when I walk outside, I get women 24-7, you look good. Damn, you fine. Damn, you handsome. Damn, you smell good. So when you say something negative on his comments, it don't mean nothing to me. You see what I'm saying? And I know half of y'all just saying some shit just to be saying, just to try to get a reaction. You don't even really believe what you're typing. Words are powerful, but you can't let those words control your emotions, man. You can't, you can't sit here and be believing what people talking about because they said something on your post neither, man. You got to understand that, bro. A lot of that come from people who, they insecure themselves and they just going to be negative. She said, I need some coochie. Why? You think I don't get no coochie? That's what's up, Nene Carter. I appreciate that, though. I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess we all need something sometimes, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey I guess. <laughs> I guess. Let me fix my camera. I can't even sit in front of my damn picture right here with y'all talking about some reckless stuff right now. Y'all on some reckless demon time right now. Y'all ladies, boy, y'all don't care what y'all be talking about. Y'all <laughs> say the craziest stuff right now, man. Do I even look, do I look like that type that, that go without? Hey, that's cool. Yeah, I'm celibate. 
I'm still celibate, y'all. I'm still celibate. I'm still celibate. Mm -mm. Child, they talked about Jesus. Man, come on. Of course, they talked about Jesus and, and they never even met him. I'm talking about the people on the internet. They talk about Jesus every day. Some people talk bad about Jesus. Never met him. All they heard was great stories about him and they still talk about him. You know, of course, people talk about me. They see me on social media coming down their doc timeline. They see me on other people's blogs. They see me on other people's pages. Of course they talk about me. I really hope a lot of you guys that came in here late go back and watch this from the beginning too, man. Because this, boy, there's some powerful jewels I dropped in this one. He said, you need some good coach. <laughs> Nene must be trying. You sound like you solicited, Nene. Nene Carter, you sound like you on my um on my live stream soliciting. You soliciting? You better stop that. You keep coming over here telling me I need good coochie. You soliciting? Don't do that. That's criminal. <laughs> That's criminal. You might want to stop. Chill. I'm pretty sure your DM's about to be flooded. These guys ain't playing. <laughs> She's soliciting on Facebook. <laughs> Oh my God, you may be powerful today, but time is more powerful than you. Cole, I don't know what that meant, but salute to the comment, brother. You gonna see me on here several years, man. I'm on here with the same energy regardless, bro. I'm a fighter, man. I'm strong. I'm a powerful guy, man. When you chosen, it's like that. <laughs> I don't talk about you, Robert. You're a great person. I thank you so much, Bonnie. Nene got gone. She's like, nah, you done told me I was solicited. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> I told you, look, it be so much fake business out here. Somebody said I slept with somebody in the backseat. The backseat of what? A bus, a car, a truck? What? <laughs> and what year was this? <laughs> she said I slept with somebody in the backseat. Yeah, maybe back in high school or something. Maybe in college. I've been, I had my own apartment since I was 16 years old. Somebody said I done slept, I done slept with somebody in the back of a car. Man, that was long, 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 long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. I got to remember what vehicle that was. That was a long, 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 long time ago. Like, come on. <laughs> I love your spirit. Thank you so much. Yo, these people think they know your life, boy. They believe everything they hear on this thing. <laughs> You growing it up. That's a fact. I am grown. Like that's a fact. I'm grown. If I if I did it last week, I'd say I did it. Though at the end of the day, I'm grown. Like what what can somebody do? <laughs> I tell you this too, man. When you're a content creator, speak to the people in the comments too, man. It brings more traction. It brings more money. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody said in the back seat, in the back seat, in the back seat of my G. Oh, you talking about my song where I said back seat of my Tesla, no sheets, messy as Gucci scarf on my glove box, wipe up the. Oh, you talking about Shorty got it? Song, uh, I'ma pop a couple bands on. That's a song, man. It's R and B music. <laughs> yeah, not a buzz. Nay, nay, come on, man. You, I don't know how you. Why, why would you even think like that? Like what? What would give you that thought process? Somebody said somebody do look like me. No, nobody's do look like me. I look like it's only one of the truth. Nobody looks like me. You do you look at me? Look at me closely. Look at my beard. Look at my nose. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyebrows. No one looks like me. I don't look like Tupac. Y'all said that for over a year that I look like Tupac. I told you I don't. So don't come on here talking about somebody's boyfriend looks like me. No, nobody's boyfriend looks like me. Y'all bugging. I don't know what. I don't know what y'all talking about, who y'all referring to, but. <clears throat> because he on live once again making his money, y'all act like life don't go on. I, boy, they don't. I mean, I've been, I've been making money on social media for over a decade. I didn't just start doing this. I'm on live right now. I had to call you back. I'm gonna lie. All right. 
I don't know what my sister, my sister calling me like she about think she about to get some act right over here. You don't tell me what to do, sis. Shout out to Latoya's Unique Boutique. Y'all make sure y'all follow my baby sister. I don't know what she think. She called me with some bass on her voice. I'm calling you. I'm on live. I'm going to call you right back. Come on, man. Stop coming here and talking about other people's boyfriends on my live, man. I don't want to hear about nobody else's boyfriends, man. Do you think I'm in the business of caring about what somebody else's boyfriend is doing or what somebody else's boyfriend looks like? All oh, this. Stop trying to compare people to me, man. It's only one of the truth. Y'all bugging out right now. Y'all know that. I ain't responding to no more of them weird comments, man. Them comments is weird. People y'all compare me to don't even have a beard or a mustache. Like, come on, they don't look nothing like me. You can't compare that. That's stupid as hell. That's like comparing Tevin Campbell to Rick Ross. Like, get up out of here. There's no fucking way you think Tevin Campbell and Rick Ross look alike. <clears throat> you say you do favor Pac, though. Man, people used to tell me that all the time in high school. When I cut this off, that's when people started saying it. When I cut all of this off... And if I was to cut all this off and then this right here and only have this little piece here and up here, that's when people call me Tupac. But I grew my beard out so we can stop with the Tupac shit. We, we, I don't look like Tupac. Now, people done said Mr. T, uh, Ma, uh, Malik Yoba, um, Ed Reed, if y'all know who that is. It's been a lot of different people. Baron Davis. I've, it's been a lot of people they say I look like. I could see some of those because they do at least have the facial hair like me. Nah, my sister good. She just told me she good. She just told me to hit her when I get off live. That's a good joke, though, Kay. You came in here with a good joke. Like you, you, you might want to go on a comment comedian tour. If they, I'm, I, I might put a comment comedian tour together. Like that was a good joke. She said I look like a moose with veneers. I, woo wee. Let's give her a fucking hand. That's funny. We got to get you on a comment comedian circuit. We got twins. They just better not act like you act like them or mistake them in the streets for them. Kawani King, I have no clue what you meant by that, but shit. If you got twins, blessings to you. That's all I like to say. I look like the truth. That's a fact, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm him. Funk Master Flex. Yeah, you think so? I can't see Flex neither, man. But I I mean, I, somebody said it before. I was in New York getting on an elevator. And this rapper thought I was Funk Flex. He started rapping to me. I posted that video some years ago. Y'all may know Jerry West. Look him up. But yeah, we posted that. He called me Funk Flex. He spit a hot 16 in the elevator. And I was in New York. Yeah, about three years ago, maybe. Love you back. Appreciate you. She tried to roll. Yeah, she was over there looking like a um, a sweet potato too on her profile picture. But she tried. She got a little. She got a little roast off. I'll give it to her. She got a little roast off, looking like a sweet potato. I ain't gonna call her name out, man, because I know y'all y'all hell, boy. Y'all be done went on a page and got a profile picture and started. Roasting and all that, but man, I'm gonna let that sweet potato have a good day. We ain't gonna bake her. We're gonna let her stay like that right now. Oh, appreciate you, Lavina Lee. So much love. Y'all love me. Y'all love daddy. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nene, you were serious, boy. You still solicited. You see, name that default. Man, you probably a fake page. You got a pretty default. You're doing too much to listening from that pretty default. That ain't even you. I can guarantee you that's not you. <laughs> I can guarantee you that's not you. <laughs> I'm going to definitely check their page in a little bit just to see if it's a real profile. I guarantee you it's a fake profile. <laughs> What's up, sis? I see Toya on here. Toya's unique boutique, man. Y'all go follow my sister.
That's what she, she said. A moose. That's what she said. Hey, I'm the flyest one in the world. I guess I don't know. I, I ain't never had no problems. I ain't never had no problems in that area. So I ain't tripping. I'll take that. The moose. She said, my sister is the realest one in my family. You hear that, Toy? They better know how thick the bloodline is. Everybody just ain't on social media. I got some real ones. I got some goons out there that don't touch the social media platforms at all. They, they too real for the net. They too, well, they, they too real for social media. You will never know. You never know who they are. They don't be on social media. He said, please sing a song. What song is that? How you know the man's spirit? Man, you know them folks go come in here trolling, man. You know how that go. Let them troll, man. Y'all heard the term, one monkey don't stop no show? Them negative people is a lot of monkeys. They definitely don't stop a show. They actually become a part of the show. You like my shirt? Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In her skin, they, they in her skin, man. Y'all love to ask what people at. They in their skin, man. My sister is in her skin. She's on here, though. She's commenting on social media. She's commenting on my post. He <laughs> said, they got four friends. You went to her page. That's what I be saying. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? When y'all see somebody say something negative, I'm going to say their name, but you can go look at their page. Tell me how many followers they got. They log into a fake profile to come and talk shit. <laughs> Ski! <laughs> you got them four, got them four friends. All of them, you two, and every one of them four accounts is you, and I bet. Them be the busiest people, man. They got one page they, they talk trash from, and they got four friends, and all them friends is them, too. That's the pages they log into once I block them. <laughs> them, them folks ain't got nothing but time on their damn hands. Lord have mercy, man. I I could never, man, I'm telling you right now, I could never be that way. No, that's her. All four friends on that page is hers. When she get blocked on the one she on now, she going to log into one of them other ones and come back over here. And then try to be nice from the next one. Hey, could you unblock? Nay, nay, that was me too. I'm sorry. I was just playing. I got one more page active now. And if you unblock this one, I can go back over there. Like, man, get out of here, man. Tadisha Bush, what's up? Thank you for the love. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm giving y'all some real shit. The ones be saying the most negative stuff is the biggest fans. When they see me in real life, they be like, oh my God, it's not true. I love him so much. I can't believe I'm meeting you in real life. But the comments, they done said some of the worst shit in the comments. I have no clue, Laura Zinn. That's not my thought process right now. Marriage is not on my mind right now, yo. That's a one. That's a one-time thing for a lot of folks. Once a lot of people get married once, and that's it. Much love, man. I'm, man, I'm, I'm about tired. Y'all boring the hell out of me now, man. I'm about to get up off here. I'm getting ready to get up off here. Y'all are boring the shit out of me. Shit, y'all got to do something. Y'all want me to stick around a little bit longer. I'm gonna need to see them stars go up. Cause I'm about to go. This a hey, this this is this this is just not it right now. I'm bored. Y'all ain't talking about nothing. If y'all send some more stars on here, I can stick around a little bit. If not, I'm getting up out of here. I gave y'all some great conversation in here. I done got bored. I was I was getting more excited when y'all was sending some stars in here, but now I'm about to get up out of here. You want me to look behind me because there's a wall behind me. You understand? This is my house. I know what's back there. I also see what's back there because I'm looking. I can see it from behind me right now.
Well, man, I guess I'm about to get up out of here. Happy Sunday. I might go back live later. I know I'm going to go live on TikTok, man. TikTok be showing much love, man. They be on there throwing gifts crazy. TikTok be throwing all type of gifts, man. They be sending the biggest gifts like on there, man. So I'm going to get on there. Um, stars is begging in your book. Hey, I'm sorry your book ain't published, baby. Publish your book that says Stars is begging and see if you can make a dollar off of it. Because stars on social media is content creators getting love for what they bring to the world. You sitting on here watching me and you're telling me that stars is begging? Are you serious? You want us to get on here and just do what we do for free? You don't want content creators to make money? See, I, I thought this was an equal opportunity world for most people. Like, I want people to get paid to do whatever it is that they do. Whatever you do for a living, I hope you get paid for it. I would never tell a person that they're begging because they get stars for going live on social media. Like, that's their job. That's a content creator. That's what they do. Tanisha Bush, thank you for the stars. I, I would never understand some of you guys' mindset, man. People post their cash app on here after they do comedy on here or sing or something. People say they begging. No, man. So so the man outside with the bucket singing on the block, he's singing out there on the little corner with his bucket. And, he's, and you dropping money in the bucket. He's begging or is he entertaining y'all for some paper, for some money to make a living for his kids? Which one is it? Y'all got to get out of that mindset of saying somebody's begging because they're getting paid to do what it is that they like to do. That's crazy to me, man. That is crazy to me, man. I, but I see it a lot. I, I'll never understand it. Some of y'all got to start leveling up at some point. And just being worried about how someone makes their money to me is stupid. Like, why do you care what people, how people make their money? Unless it's hurting you, unless it's hurting your kids or something, like. That's what's up, Nita. Say Lupac is live. Shout out to Lupac, man. Y'all make sure y'all go show Lupac some love, too. I'm about to get up off him, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Come.